With this view, you can check out the entire block. Forget about the entire block. The best thing about that window is you can see when the bar sign goes off. And you know in about three minutes, the folks are going to be upstairs. Yeah, which usually gave us enough time to get out of whatever trouble it was we were into. Yeah, yeah. Well, we cut it awfully close occasionally, didn't we, Patty? So you both shared this room? Yeah, we bunked in here, what, how long? I don't know, about 17 years. Enough years to collect a lot of junk, let me tell you. You know, you used to have a case of basketball trophies right here on this wall. Yeah, what about you and those uh, science projects? What about those spiders? You remember those spiders? Well, maybe we hadn't, shouldn't talk about spiders. I mean, after all, you got to sleep here at night. Thanks, Frank. Even after we left, Ma didn't change a thing. Doc called this room the shrine. The shrine? Well, I don't know if I'm up to living in somebody's shrine. No, I, I took uh, a lot of the junk out of here years ago. It was about time. So, looks like this is where you're going to be for a while. Welcome. I guess so. Look, uh, thanks for showing me around. I guess I just have to hope that the ghosts don't rattle too loud at night. Oh, huh? no, nah, they're, they're good ghosts. Do you remember when we uh, dropped the water balloons on the Dempsey's? Out the window. <laughs> Tommy came and got us with the garden hose. We went and got his brother. We took him down. Ooh. What? No. Right. <laughs> I don't think Dakota's really interested in our childhood memories. No, no, go ahead. It's all right. Sounds like pretty nice memories. Hey, I did okay, too. I didn't have a brother to share a room with, but that's all right. No, I'm, I'm sure you did fine. Just must have been a little tough traveling around all the time. Wasn't tough. I had a great time. We traveled to a lot of places, so I uh, see all these souvenirs here. I collected a lot of souvenirs, too. If I didn't know where I was going, at least I knew where I'd been. The kind of life suited me all right. Well, listen, we're not... We're not saying that everybody that didn't live in this household let a, uh, had a bad childhood, you know what I mean? Hey, I know that. I know what you're saying. But I think I learned the most important thing. I learned how to take care of myself real soon. And I uh, certainly learned out what people wanted from me. You know, all we really want is for you to know that this is your home now. I think I got the idea. So what do we have to do to make you believe that, huh? What? You've already done it, I guess. You brought me in here. Look, I know you're telling me these stories and things, and you're trying to make me relax. It's okay. They're your memories. It's not so easy to try to make somebody adjust to a new home. Well, our ma has something to say about that. She even has it hang on a wall in her room. It's, uh, home is where the heart is. Look, I don't understand really why you guys are knocking yourself out so much for this, you know? It's no big mystery. You're our brother. My granddaughter's here already. And so I see. Uh, is it Miss Kowalski? Yeah. It's good to see you. You really do have a grandmother. Well, of course she has a grandmother. You think she springs from a cabbage patch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, ma'am, it, it's, it's a very uh, not pleasant surprise that her grandmother lives on my block. Well, I have to live somewhere. Come, sit down. Have a vodka. You do like Polly's pastry, don't you, Jack? Very much. Oh, good boy. Have some, Declan. Uh, no, thanks, Sergeant. Oh, take, take your two thin. Uh, men like women with a little meat on their bones. Uh, so, Mr. Fennelli, you're Italian. Hmm. Maybe there's some Polish in your mother's family? I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> I'm as Italian as Chianti. Italian, that's nice, too. <laughs> I like to think so, too. I'm sorry we haven't met before. Looks like I've missed out on some uh, pretty great pastry. Uh, Mr. Fennelli, there was never anybody to introduce us properly. I don't speak to strange men. <laughs> well, Bocci, then I'm honored to be able to do the formal introduction. Please sit down, Jack. Uh,
But you know, your face is not unfamiliar. I'm sure I've seen you before. Perhaps? Where are you back, Bachi? Oh, uh, uh, on the avenue, down by Broadway. Well, that's it. I used to have an account there, so that, that would be it. Mm. Or the fruit stand. Mm. Oh, very good. Very good quality. Good mm. tofu. <gasps> have some more vodka. Uh, thank you. Now, I'm sure you, uh, you know about our block association and the, uh, the seniors club. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, you really should go to their meetings. Be good to meet some of your neighbors. Uh, no meetings. No, they bore me. You know, they bore me too. <laughs> but a lot of good comes out of them. You know, all the shade trees, all the shade trees on this block, they were planted because of the association. Oh, yes, the trees are nice, very nice. I'll tell you what, look, as long as I'm here, why don't I take your telephone number, and then uh, I'll keep you posted. Uh, oh, no, they don't want a, an old lady sticking in her two bits. They <laughs> would love to have you. Oh. Besides. <laughs> I'd like to keep a check on you. During snowstorms, things like that. Please, please, it would make me feel a lot better. Well, well I don't be shy, Bakshi. It's all right. You can give him your phone number. Um, it's 555-2740. Five, 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 mm. two, two, five, 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 two, okay, and then I will give you my telephone number. Okay. So that if you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to call. Oh. Okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it's good to have a friend nearby. I, you know, I, I get so tired these days. I, uh, well, don't let us tire you no, out. No, it, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Well, I've, uh, I've kept you quite long enough. I, it was very delightful meeting you. Oh, it was my pleasure, Mr. Finelli. And I hope <laughs> that I see you again soon. Oh, oh yes, please. <laughs> um, please. I'll see you, Mal Just stay where you are. Stay there. I, uh, <clears throat> owe you an apology. Uh, why, Jack? Whatever for? When you, uh, you told me that your grandmother lived in my block, I thought, um... What did you think, Jack? I thought you were a very inventive woman, Devlin. Oh. 